so I'm going to click generate on this random noun generator. All right, so honey. All right. Well, I gotta stick with it, so we gotta do it. All right, so honey. All right, we're gonna have to go file new. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it a thousand by 750 points. RGB 72. Hit OK. Control one and get out an H. Yeah, you know, lowercase h as well. And scale this thing up. And kind of figure out how I want to approach this. So it's always good just to get reference images sometimes. Uh, so images.google. I'm going to type in honey. And just see what uh, popular images show up that can depict the idea of honey. All right, so we have the drips, of course, and you know we have the colors that are associated with it. The honeycomb effect as well, are the patterns. All right, so how can we best illustrate the idea of honey through an H? All right, so I might want to work with the um, the honeycomb idea. So basically, the geometry here is uh, six sides. So you would call that a hexagon, I guess. Um, so we'd use the polygon tool. All right. And it, we got six sides. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, just making sure uh, right there. Let's get rid of this. All right, so I'm gonna copy this and just see where this idea leads me. All right, so. Hmm. All right. So, do you see an H in there? Yeah, I basically do. It's, uh, it's in the white space right here. All right. So I'm gonna run with this idea. Um, I'm gonna go to View, Show Grid, View, Snap to Grid. And I, uh, sorry, it wasn't snapping my grid. I had to turn off align to pixel grid real quick. Uh, so what I want to do is um, come out to here and redraw this. All right, and right around there, and then. Come down here, Control C and Control F, and wait one second here. This align to pixel grid thing is throw me off. There we go. All right, so in between. Uh, we'll put it right around there. There's five grid lines between them. All right, and then I'll copy this one. And then what I want to do is, well, you know what? I, I want it to be thicker. All right, so. All right, so now what I want to do is I uh, take the um, a rectangle tool right there and control shift and D, which is the same as going to object path and then divide objects below. And take these two and just delete them. Control C, Control F, reflect. Right there. I need to space these out a little bit more. And I'm going to turn off, or I'm going to hide the grid rather. And Turn these off as well. Hide this. Go to Window Pathfinder. 
and join those up. All right, so in and of itself, not much going on. Uh, so what I wanna do is use a, get some color here. And I'm going to take them and ungroup and go ahead, I think we'll use a gradient here, radial. Oops, we'll remove that one, double click on this. All right, we'll choose a light, like our yellow color. Eh, something, maybe, eh, maybe not that intense. Let me uh, take it down just a notch right there. Take these three. I still think it's a little bit too bright, so I'm going to take those and make another adjustment. That way it's a little bit more subtle. And I'm going to take them, I uh, group them back up again. Control G. And let me see what else I... Let's give it a stroke here. Try like a 20, align it inside right there. And change the color of the stroke. Um, let's come down. You can just barely, barely see it here. Um, then I want to experiment with something else. So I'm going to right click and ungroup this, copy this, control H to view my anchor points and my path. All right, so we're coming in here and I'm going to get rid of a couple anchor points. So I'm going to take my direct selection tool get rid of that one and this one. Oh, and this one as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna try something real quick. Oops, we wanna select on this one. And I'm gonna come up right around here. This isn't going to be a stroke, by the way, so I don't have to really worry about those crazy things going. So let me get rid of the stroke on this. All right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what we'll do is make this color, this is just going to be a solid color actually, so come over here, I don't want it to be that, I don't want it to stand out that much, I think I'm going to have to make an adjustment for this to seem like it's going to work well. I'm gonna experiment real quickly. So what I'm gonna do is just take uh, everything. So I have a copy saved up here. And I'm gonna delete that point, continue it on all the way to the edge here, holding shift. I'm not going to worry about that being perfect at the moment. Do the same thing here. So I think that's better. Um, May not make it, well, let me see what they all look like with this added here. I'm just gonna eyeball it real quick. Bring this to the top. Let me get rid of these. I'm gonna go window transform. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, I guess. So, yeah, uh, ordinarily you'd want to make sure these are all replicated and these are positioned, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it as is. And so now, um, to maybe further illustrate the concept, I, I'm going to group these up real quick. And let's 
scale them down and type in honey. And find a suitable font that might match this. All right, so I think I kind of like this font. And all right, so let's take this and scale it up quite a bit. So we could see the H throughout here, but it's using shapes that are familiar with, you know, when people think about honey, uh, the whole honeycomb bee hive type of thing. Uh, and so that would be an effective letter mark, uh, logo, logo design letter mark uh, symbol for illustrating the idea of honey in the letter H. All right, so uh, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna delete this real quick. And this isn't necessary. I just, I don't know why I wanna do it. Let me come down here and give this a radial gradient. Make this one white. No. We'll make, we'll reverse these. And bring down the opacity a bit. Bring this up. G, make it larger, and there we go. That is our honeycomb. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed it. I, maybe it helped you in some way in trying to connect ideas to concepts. Um, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Check out uh, the various social networks that were established on Facebook and Twitter and give us a follow there. And then finally, also make sure you check out, typing off screen, this bad boy right here, which is the uh, designcourse.com slash premium, where I teach you or train you one-on-one -on -one via video tutorials how to become a better designer. There's also Viz ID and Wise Banner. So check it out. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. All right, goodbye.